So welcome along guys to a great little simple blue poppy. How's that sound? Good. So let's get going. We've got a PD of the propelling pencil. I'm just going to do a large poppy and then a little closed up one next door. Okay. So all we need, let's put a little dots down. And we're going to just go anti-clockwise. Out, in, out, in out in and we just oh there we go all the way around very very simple need a little center around there comes this way a little dive down a little bobble and then a few little lines going up then we're going to uh, pop around the back carve out a couple of little leaves there they are there's our big poppy maybe a leaf let's go out go in here and mm, yeah just here maybe little triangles there they are and then we've got one individual poppy just going up so we've got a line for the stem nice big circle or squished circle and then we make it a bit pointed yeah so pointy pointy joiny join there you go all the things you need let's have one more just a stem just here and a little flower just bursting out that way as well so point point little bottle and back in so there we go guys there's our little simple drawing give that a go and let's meet back again in a few moments So well done guys, painting time, let's get back on it. So we've got big brine, our big round brush. All we're gonna do is drag a bit of water over the big flower, the back of the little curvedy flowers, that's all, just water, nothing more. We're gonna get a very weak blue, so we're gonna go for royal blue to a T strength, yeah? Put it under the curve for a start so we know where we're going. Push it out, push some out each time, making a little Catherine wheel. Yeah, all going out. And then we'll put some on the back of the little closed up blue poppies. There we go all doing good guys now we get a little bit thicker mix of royal blue flick a bit on so we're taking this out in little lines yeah very simply done easy to do and we'll just drag a little bit of this down sound cool cool need to change the color up a bit now and we're going to go for Cobalt blue, a little bit stronger, so we have the coffee strength. Still using big brine there. And we're just going to run this under the center. Yeah, just gently does it. Let it bleed off. And what we're going to do here is just on the ends of some of these petals, just drag a little bit of the color. Push it out, a little tap. Push out, a little tap. And this makes that nice little serrated edge for the uh, 
end of the leaves. Dragging around a couple of petals there. Another serrated edge. You can add them as you go along. Don't have to get them all on for a start. And then back of this, little closedy ones. And we're just going to bring a few little lines around. Yeah, so curve at the top, curve under the bottom, and a few little lines at the end. Same here, curve over, put little lines at the end. We'll drag that colour around a little bit. Follow the shape as you do. You're doing great guns, guys, great guns. So we got that on. Now I'm going to use a bit of tissue to pick off some texture. That leaves a nice texturous feel on the paper. Dries the areas a little bit. Yeah. Goody goody gumdrops. Now we're going to go for our little dagger brush, Mini Dave. Dave and his Mini. Coffee strength lemon yellow. I'm just going to dab a little bit in the centre. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. And these have got a few little spores that actually go into the air. Yeah? So imagine you're curving these round and into the air they go. Followed by a little bit of cad orange to a coffee strength just at the bottom and a few little spores there they are little spores he was very good very good all looking fabulous so let us add a little bit of greenery i'm going to use mini dave again i'm going to use lemon yellow and sap green and just where the end is, I'm just going to put a little leaf. So I'm carving around the end of the petal there. And just pulling a little leaf shape out. Another one just here. Yeah. Maybe another one. I'm going to add this on. Join that on. Not quite so big. That's jolly good. Then we've got a little stem, very easily applied. It's just for that one, then we're going to follow this one round. And this other one. Yeah. Have we got a bit more green? Of course, we've got a bit more green. Apparently, and I'm just going to drop this in. Because it's wet, it'll just float about. Just scruff the end of your leaves up a bit. Rigger time now. A little bit of Indian red just dropped into the centre. And a few of the end little spores. Just we just touch the paper and it bleeds and has a has a little run about itself. And we'll just now use Cobalt blue, quite a liquid coffee strength, and all we're going to do is add a little bit of this, this in, under and around and into the centre base. This is where the petals meet the centre, and all we're going to do is bring out a few little lines. Over like that, so 
across the top of the petal. And then here, I'm just going to flick a little bit in this way. And that's under the petal there, right over to the end. A little bit of water. This side of the petal, and a little bit of water that side of the petal. And there is your petal in the centre. A few little lines to describe how it, the angle goes up and down. little petal just here so start here bring it down wobble it a bit wobble it join it wobble wobble join same so other side wobble wobble join so remember that's the petal bit of water just drag this down and water that side and remember you're trying to take it in that angle it goes over that way. So I'm drawing it on to show you, but also I'm drawing it on to give you some lines on the centre. Few little lines there, look. So some can come down to the ends and others just taper off to the side. Yeah. So one more of those. Maybe let's have a look. Just do one just here. So this is at the back. A little bit of extra there. Bit of water. And then we've got these little. So we do a few straight in the centre and flick a few off. Cool as custard, berry mustard, a little catchphrase is there guys, you can use that, say that. We've got a little bit of ultramarine blue, so it's a little bit stronger back end of the individual pod. And then I'll just bring a few little lines down. softens it off you see so it leaves some hard lines and soft lines as well same here a little bit of colour few lines down a little bit of water jobs are good in then a little bit of green on the leaves a little bit of darker green where the shadow is, which is under the petal. And I'll drag that out. Just add a few uh, veins on the leaves. There's Uno. A bit of darkness under there. Maybe a bit of darkness under there. Line, veins, yeah, darkness, all good. So I'm adding a little bit more green under there, dark green, a few extra little lines, they just fill the space a bit. Just at the end there, where the pod used to sit. And a tiny bit of darker green right at the end. Here. And very finely, a little bit darker, so we've got a bit of purple and a bit of 
cobalt blue. I'm just going to add a little bit just in here, make it a little bit darker. That's right, really to just cast a little bit of shadow. dots and dashes along the side of a petal or two. You gotta pop a petal or two. Pop a petal or two. And even a couple of lines on this one in a sort of darker tone. Oh well, that's that sort of uh, gravity to it. And then well, I know what we've got a little bit of sepia if you've got some if you've not dark brown, you dark browns, make it quite dry. I'm going to add a few little lines to the spores, look here, just here. So you start at the top of the yellow, you don't get right into it, because you will get covered in yellow. And then the little joiny bits or your little spores. Finally, always like a little bit of splashy roux. So then you splash your roux with a little bit of cobalt. Just gives a bit of movement to the picture. And guys, I think we is done. So, well done. Give this one a go, our little blue poppy, and see how you get on. And the main thing is, enjoy every moment. So I'll see you again very, very soon.